Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild adventures and we're starting on the main menu screen because I decided since like last time we ended and the last like moon we saw was almost a full moon. I thought, hmm, I wonder if the next full moon would be a blood moon. Granted, I probably could have saved, could have waited a bit longer. But there is indeed a blood moon a coming. I thought I saved closer to midnight, so we just have to wait like three more minutes. But okay, Cass. I would talk to you, but I would slow things down. Because we're already, like, we already talked to you here, and you gave us that quest. Hmm. I guess I'll just eat raw apples. Or, like, raw something here. Save the super heals for something more. But hopefully, what we'll do is, uh, once it gets closer to the Blood Moon Horizon, we will go down onto the platform. We'll actually... Well, well first things first, we probably... Yeah, under Red Moon. When the moon bleeds and the fields are fiends are reborn, the monks will invite you as they have sworn. But first you must stand on the pedestal bare with nothing between you and the night air. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll go down there, and then we're going to climb back up and see if uh, he has anything to say, because unfortunately, the last time we did a cast shrine quest, uh, we went in before talking to him. I guess he was shocked by us jumping, so he stopped playing for a moment. But over there you see the blood moon is horizon, because today I want to try and do as many cast shrine quests as possible, as well Oh, and that's all we had to do. It was already activated. I guess with the blood moon right over there, we don't have to actually wait for it to... Huh. It just, like, knows. Yeah, there's a blood moon over there of two hours early. Sure, come on in. <laughs> Naked Link. Does mean that, like, uh, still all the enemies are gonna respawn, which is slightly annoying. But now we have to go up there. And, like, talk to him. And be like, hey, man. Did you see what I did? I did it for you. You wonderful man bird. Because just know that if I don't, he'll disappear into nothingness. I'm coming, my big old bird boy. I could have used a Rivali's Gale here. I want to see if I can get up on my own. That is some horrifying climbing ability there. Are you a, a Spider-Man? Spider-Link, Spider-Link, crawling out of the kitchen sink. Because I want your opinion on this, Cass! And I finally climbed this like you said I did when I originally just flew down like the old man. So what do you think, Cass, or do you have nothing to say about this development? Ah, so nothing between you and the night air meant naked. Quite so blunt, my man. Oh. Boldly standing naked on the pedestal. That's definitely reminiscent of the hero of legend. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. Good to know that he actually does acknowledge when we do his quest. I just need to make sure I actually talk to him each time before giving him a opportunity to vanish into nothingness. And you know, mm hmm Nah, I'm not gonna bother. Because I was figuring, hey, if I go into the, the shrine, that means that the blood moon is gonna be put off for another night. Maybe this will bite me in the ass. <laughs> but well, unlikely. Like that one time, I'm like, oh, I kill all these guys. Or did that happen? 
I could have sworn that there was at least one situation where I was like, oh, it was uh, back at the Akala lab. Oh, it's going to be a major test, isn't it? Let's see. Modest test. Okay, not that bad. But uh, when it comes to... Let's see. Well, we'll smack you around with this. But yeah, when it came to the Akala lab, when we had to light their furnace, I was uh, clearing the way of enemies to bring the, like, uh, torch down, only for it to be like, surprise, it's actually evil, evil times. Well, fine, you want to do this? Step, step, step. All right. Don't do that. Oh, it's hesitated so much. I'm like, what are you doing? I stab you a lot. Rude. Come on. Let me stab you. Let me stab you. Doubly rude. How dare. What if I stabbed you very fast? <laughs> oh, that actually... Huh. Wasn't what I expected. But I'll take. Poke, poke, poke. Eh, need to not do that as often. Rude. Quit shooting me. That's illegal. Alright. Your auto-aim is evil. Yeah, yeah. I have to do it in small little bits. Or else it gets angry at me. And now we'll do the other Guardian Sphere. Oh, time for spin. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, I just didn't get a flurry. <laughs> You're an odd little beast, aren't you? With your shield and your sudden shooting of me. All right, let's see if we can get the flurry this time with your delayed diddly d. It is <laughs> the, the slowest bit of it ending is the part that hit me. But it's it interesting to note that it looks like it's meant to have three arms, but one is broken. Who got in here before me? Dark. I was hoping to backflip out of there. But from YouTube chat, hello, hello. We are taking on a modest uh, test of strength after doing a, the, your shield was not even activated, how dare. After uh, doing one of the cast like song riddles, the Blood Moon one. Oh. <laughs> All that charging just for it to go boom. Let's see. I guess I'll use it. Oh. Ah, I didn't even get out running. I always overestimate, I overestimate myself. I'm gonna poke you a lot with nothing but spears. But I still wanna know, why are you missing an arm? Who did that to you? Get out of here. And now we have the medium shield. Let's see, any shield we want to drop? I guess you, since we know we can just unequip shields entirely so we don't have to worry about lightning ruining my day. But today we are going to try and finish up some more memories and do cast quests because I want to do that. And may like maybe while we're trying to kind of climb Hyrule Castle to get that one memory, because I assume that one memory is at Hyrule Castle at some point. Because I've never actually gone into Hyrule Castle in anything. Like, anything at all. There, like Considering that we got, like, a rumor thing of, like, ah, there's a special thing in there, in Hyrule Castle, as well as, oh, 
like, uh, I am a gourmet and my ancestors were the chef of the, the royal family. Please go in there and get me a cookbook. I can only assume that there is, like, some level of being able to wander around Hyrule Castle without committing to fighting Ganon. So uh, since we have a decent amount of, like, health and stuff, we should be good. And I do not hear an accordion, so the bird dilf has left me. <laughs> Luckily, we talked to him before we went in, because unlike the one over here, the big damn hole one, I figured, oh, I'll go do it, and then I'll come talk to you. No, he left. But now I guess we'll try and see if we can find that one memory that I think is over here. Specifically, uh, this one. Because I'm trying to think. There aren't that many landmarks. <laughs> Cannot delete. Thank you, game. It would be very evil if you could. Because it's just a hilly plain that goes off into a cliff. And it's like... I'll, I, I have never looked at this Hyrule Castle all that closely. But it could either be, like, it's either over here or it's over here. It's one or the other looking kind of this way. Hmm, but I just, I don't know which. Like, what it could be. But, well, head over that way and once we see the profile of Hyrule Castle, we should be able to know a bit better. Because <laughs> I've just never actually looked at Hyrule Castle from, like, one direction or another. Oh, what is this? Enemy power hour? No. I wanted to maybe throw, like, a bomb at the keys and then decided, oh, maybe I'll use a, like, a bomb arrow. You know what? Take that. Yeah, you run away, you big freaks. The ball of keys is on fire. Not like an individual keys. All of the keys at the same time, but not. That is, <laughs> that is what happens when I... You dare to spawn in front of me? Why? Because everything is spawning in front of me today, demanding my attention. I want to go memory hunting! It also doesn't help partially because, like, the memory... ba 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 the, like, uh, the memory photo doesn't have the big ol' calamity-like pillars that surround Hyrule Castle. So it could be a little difficult. A wee bit difficult. I guess while we're gonna do a bunch of walking, I'll put on my Sheikah clothes so that we can sneak up on and bomb things. We have been running low on meat. If you stasis one of the keys, they will go away. Huh, that's neat. That is a nice thing to know if I am ever, like, truly harangued by the evils of the universe. I saw a shadow on the ground. I'm just like, oh, I wonder what that is. Apparently it's a bird. I never shot down one of those birds. But usually when it comes to the big ball of keys, I like to throw a bomb at them to... Because it's a little bit satisfying, and it also gives me some, uh, resources, ever so slightly. I was wondering what that was, and... Oh, sadness, it's a destroyed, uh, caravan. Diddly. Which is kind of depressing. Or impressive, cons depending on how old it is. Whenever I see a rock, I always think, is there a Korok there? Is it just a roadside Korok? You can never know. But at least we know we can trust this guy. He's a horse guy. 
the Yiga clan don't use horses. So hello there. Hi. Hey, pal. Psst. Over here. I'm in a talking mood, you see. I got rumors burning a hole in my pocket. These enemies called whales of the desert, you heard them? They're blind, but they react to sound. Trimmers, I guess. If anyone asks, I'll deny giving you this info, but if you cut the grass in Hatino Village, you'll get Hylian rice. <laughs> I've got rumors for days, buddy. They say that a Hinox weak point is its eye. Uh, aside from uh, the, the sand whale thing, because I've never really hung out in the Gerudo Desert that much, I've known all of these. I haven't verified any of this, mind you. I'm just a humble rumor monger. I hear a thing, say a thing. That's how this works. This guy's like Twitter. Hyrule Twitter. But I guess I kind of make, like, uh, is one thing that I never noticed, noticed, but kind of noticed was sometimes when I cut the grass, like, oh, I get rice. I didn't realize that it was location specific. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Kind of like Tabantha rice. I wonder if you cut, like, uh, da -da -da, the babadi ba grass in the Tabantha region. If it does the same thing, give you Tabantha rice. Well, somebody's in combat. <laughs> Is it the husband and wife again? Just traveling around, being harassed? I don't think that the Bacoblin cares about, like, chivalry stuff. And to have at use. Mine. Bullying Bacoblins. Oh, you didn't even leave any materials, you fiend? You know what would be hilarious? If, like, one of these days I save somebody from a Bacoblin and they turn out to be a Yiga clan. Hi. You seem to be get around. You know much about the kilt, this Kilton and Feng guy? Uh, doesn't ring a bell. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in finding out more? I could use some help with the hunt. Take this, too, for helping me. Monster extract, a result of Kilton's research into monsters. This suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Huh. I don't think I've ever met Milton. Or Kilton. Whatever. This monster guy in any of my playthroughs. It's called monster extract. A guy named Kilton brews his stuff up at Fang and Bone. It's a kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. Mm. I mean, what are monsters if not just freaky animals that wear clothes? Now, now that just uh, begs the philosophical question. Is eating an alien cannibalism? There's some weird stories about going around about Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I kind of want to meet him at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. Oh. One source I, I trust says he's most often found at the skull-shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know that place. Too bad for you that you do not have a map. Meanwhile, I do have a map. <laughs> We're going to continue on our way. I need to, like, walk around more. You never know the random events that you'll run into if you just walk around. Plus, allows me to kill monsters. Oh, yeah, and I don't think I ever finished my thought because I got distracted by the modest test. But uh, before we went in to the shrine, the Blood Moon was about to rise. Because, funnily enough, the Blood Moon did not need to activate for me to activate the shrine. And uh, one little tip I got from my chat previously was that you're able to like uh if you see a blood moon rising and you go into a shrine or another like instanced area you're capable of skipping the blood moon it doesn't like uh like prevent it entirely it just puts it off to the next 24 hour moon cycle so it's like, oh, you skipped that night because you were in a place? Fine. We'll move along for the next night. Oh, that, that makes me think of a cool challenge, potentially. Or like a challenge modifier. Like, imagine if there was like a... A test. 
or not, not a test, but a challenge. And the challenge was to never let the Blood Moon activate as much as possible. Like, maybe the first one, because I think that one's unique. But... Oh, there's a shrine over here somewhere. Hmm. I guess I'll set this over here to remind me that there is a shrine over here. But we're memory hunting. I already have four orbs that I need to trade in with the goddess to then be able to do things. What is this? Was Zolfos being freaks? Would you like a bomb? Bomb. One of my bombs will make you drop your spear. Like that! <laughs> my spear now! You see? It's mine. You're angry? Now die! Bomb. It's probably not all that efficient, but I like using bombs for my fights. It's just amusing to me to see my enemies flung about. Oh. Fear my aim and my spear that I stole from you. I wonder what goes in to the like calculations of like, oh, you hit an enemy with like a bomb, they went flying, do they drop their weapon or not? It's kind of hard to get a proper gauge on the silhouette. But it seems like we might want to get closer. Like somewhere on this plane. Or is it from the wrong side? Or could it be more from the back? It could be kind of more from the back. Like, kind of that section. We'll go ahead and take this off. We don't need you. But all we really need to do is look for... Like, kind of plainish hills with a single... Like a big old tree. Yeah, but now it feels like we're kind of too close. Nobody cares. Again, the, the malice version of all this makes it a bit hard to really gauge. Like, maybe that tree. Of course, it's raining. Obfuscating my view even more. How dare you. Luckily, I saw the tree over there, which it could be. It's kind of close. I really dislike the rain in this game. It always comes at annoying times. Yep. Again, I swear... Weapon degradation, hardly an issue. Yep. Rain, biggest kill. Yeah, because it could swear, but maybe, let me see. Hmm. Fucking rain, it could be that tree. Because the... Like, I can't really gauge it anymore because of the rain. Why? I hate the rain. It ruins everything. Ruins my fun. <laughs> Gotta go? No problem. Thank you for spending some time with me. Hope whatever it is you need to go do is good. But I think this is it. Uh, to a degree. Well, wrong thing entirely. 
Double wrong thing entirely. Because there is that little dubada -da with the big old tree. Ah, lucky guess. A, a little odd, though, as why that's still the same size and this is still here, but uh, landmarks. Let's go. Memory. And this will take us down to one memory. The Hyrule Castle memory. And we can hardly even recognize it because of the rain. Oh, it seems to be a happy memory. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They are also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. Well, no, not those flowers. I just realized your horse is probably dead now. This one here is called the Silent Princess. Yeah, that one it's has uses. Endangered species. Now I feel bad for it's plucking every single one I see. We can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. I wonder why that is. All that we can hope. Is, is that meant to be a metaphor? Strong enough to prosper. Like even you, <laughs> you can't grow domestically. You can only grow in the wild, and that's why it's the breath of the <gasps> wild. Is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! Frog. Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Link, Taste eat it, it now. <laughs> eat it live. That's cute. Zelda able to kind of be herself. But for some reason, that reminded me of uh, Bubba Ba. One thing that I wanted to do is uh, ba -ba -ba, over here, the Spring of Power. Because I do believe that we have... The scale for that, we're going to go do that. Because I don't think I've ever done, like, one of the diddly dees. Oh, that reminds me, we can also go up Mount uh, Lanayru. See about that. Because I've never gone up Mount Lanayru to, like, because uh, I think one of the memories or, like, one of the travelers, something, mentioned there being, like, the Spring of Wisdom, I think, up at Mount Lanayru. And I do believe that we should have gotten the, like, uh, scale. Of that one guy. The one dragon. So we should be able to go down to that spring. And, because I think the like goddess statue said bring me the scale of the dub -de -ba. If you if you value your life wolves you will not hunt me i will kill you first my favorite link might might be the divine beast wolf man himself but i will still kill you and then eat you I also need to be careful because, uh, the one way in. <laughs> that lightly grazed me. Actually did a lot of damage to you. No. Mine now. And your friend didn't even know. Go fly it. I do kind of like that. This is one of the few instances that, if done right, can give, like, fall damage to the Bacoblins. But yeah, we can't really enter from that way because that's where, uh, that's where all the, uh, what's they called? <laughs> the Flying Guardians are. 
Well, now now to do what uh, Zelda never could and get an answer from the goddess. Half a general scale received from the red spirit to the spring of power. I, goddess Hylia, will guide you. So, like, uh, do I just throw it in? Because I assume that this is the spring of power. I also swear that I got the Dinral scale. Let me. Yeah, shard of frosh, frosh Dinral. Do I get to pick it back up? Kind of cool that you actually have to drop it in manually. Kind of adds a bit of flavor to it. And let me guess, you're gonna make me actually do stuff once I get inside you. And it's not enough that I have to shoot a dragon to get a scale. You have to make me do extra stuff, too. Your path has shown itself. Now go forth. That nope, it disappears. Darn. Also kind of neat that it appears that the shrine doesn't get picked up by the radar until it's actually be able to be activated. That's actually kind of cool. It, I guess it kind of makes sense, similar to the other shrines that are, like, underground until you, like, activate them. Like the Rito Village Warbler's Nest Song Puzzle, or even the Blood Moon Cast Quest. I just, I like that. Neat little things. Well, we're gonna go down and see. Well, it's full of water. Haven't seen this one before. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a major test, isn't it? Yep, if it's a major test, we need to put on major garb. Well, actually. Yep. Alright. I guess we'll put on medium U. And you're probably gonna do, like, electricity stuff. Let's see. Nope. So I need to be careful. It might could be because electricity is kind of a weakness of these guys. So having water in here kind of prevents you from spamming water or like electricity attacks yourself. Darn. You're very fast, aren't you? Get smacked. Darn. I only get one hit in before he brings up the shield. Yeah, get smacked. Alright, you. Yeah. Oh, did you dare straight fire me? Illegal. Alright, you're gonna do this and see if I can get a flurry off. Nope. <laughs> Got too greedy. Couldn't do a jump. We're whittling you down, Billy. Yeah, get smacked. Alright. One shot. Haha! <laughs> Flurry time! Since that did a lot of damage, we'll downgrade. Because I can. Oh, uh... Yeah, that's what I figured you do. I wonder why that actually causes heat. Oh, that didn't... Ah, darn you. I needed to land right on top of you, but I did not. I am a failure, Billy. Huh, this might actually be more damage, like like, per cycle, because it actually allows me... Alright, now, I need to land on top of you. To actually make you go smack. Darn. Yeah. Oh, that actually hit me. Good for you! Yeah, I got a little too greedy there. Hit his shield. I'm gonna assume that this is you're gonna enter your 
filled up mode. Get out of here. Not oh, even dropped a core. That's nice. Let's see. So apparently, oh yeah, because it is that. So we'll drop our middling one. And guardian spears. I don't really use use spears too much, but we'll definitely get rid of you. Here you go, monk. You can have a evil malice monster made weapon with you for. Well, I guess you're not gonna be here after I. Uh, Take your orb, you're gonna disappear and uh, go elsewhere. Don't really care for a flame spear. I got a flame sword and I mainly use it for uh, campfires. So I guess I'll leave that there so I can come grab it if I'm super low on weapons. Now give me your orb. Give it to me, your orb. It's kind of funny. They're like, we demand you go get a scale from this big spirit dragon. Then you come to this specific spring. And then we're going to throw a, a pretty big attack monster guardian at you. Doesn't feel like the goddess Hylia really wants me to save the world. Well, now that I did it, you got anything to say? Can I uh, exchange spirit orbs here or are you gone? Oh, now I can do it. Hmm. I think I have a decent amount of stamina, especially if I get stamina raising, like, food things. So I'll get a few heart containers before I get more stamina. Like, one, two more heart containers... Then I'll go down the route of more stamina vessels. Alright, now that we did that... We could go... To... Because I assume... That... That is where the memory is. But before that, I am going to... Well, actually, first things first. Because I almost forgot. What we're actually going to do is... We're going to come up here, fly down here back to Cass's journal. I'm going to read it to see, like, what places Cass mentioned. And that way we can try and uh, hunt down all the places that Cass shows up. It could be that maybe he shows up at stables in certain areas that are nearby to where the shrine quests are. And then like uh, he appears at the specific like special location. Like, maybe that's it. That could be it. Or it could just be he has specific stables that he shows up at, w w however which way. And then he has just, like, uh, the very big important places that he shows up. Because I do think that he has, like, one place... That's near the coast, but I want to head down and double check and navigate. Worst comes to worst, I can always look him up, but I want to try and uh, comprehend it myself. From YouTube chat? Yo, I know I just joined, but love the stream. Thank you very much. Glad to be providing some modicum of entertainment. Especially in such a big, open, like, open world game. Because usually I kind of fear when playing open world games that I 
might not have much to say, or I'd become boring. So glad to see that I am at least somewhat entertaining. Have you played Breath of the Wild before? Never to this extent. Like, if I recall my very, very first playthrough, which I never got to the end with, the most I got through was three Divine Beasts, uh, Ruta, Meadow, and then the Camel. I think I did those ones. But I never really engaged with the game all that much. Didn't do as much cooking, didn't do that many side quests or shrines. And, uh, so, like, I'm just trying to... And plus, that was a long time ago. So I kind of forget a lot of stuff. So I just really enjoy going through it again. But let's read through. Pagos Woods. And the song and the ages... Okay, Area Pharon and Pagos Woods. I'll definitely need to... Okay, actually... Pharon, I believe, is down here. Pharon Woods Pogos. So I will set a hmm, set of that. Pogos Woods, and then we'll try to like the stable and see if we can find him anywhere. Maybe at Pharon Tower. But like a because if he says there's a song there, he might appear there. But yeah, like I don't even think I ever got any like materials from the dragons on my first playthrough. And then a few years ago I did like four streams of Breath of the Wild. But I only ever got to the end of Varuta, I think. And then I got distracted because I didn't have a schedule back then. Okay, that's Pogos Woods. West Hyrule Plains, Jeddo Bridge. Okay. West Hyrulea... Jeddo Bridge. West High... I'll need to read that again. My memory is terrible. Yeah, Pogos Woods. West Hyrule Plains. Jeddo Bridge. West Hyrule Plains. Jeddo Bridge. West Hyrule Plains. Here's a breach of demise. So West Hyrule Plains is over here. Is that it? I'll well, I'll, I'll set a marker here. West Hyrule Plains to remind me. Now let's actually read the thing. Yeah, Pogos Woods, the dragons. West Hyrule Plains, on the south side of West Hyrule Plains, there is a bridge called Jeddo Bridge. Near this bridge, there are a number of circular rocks with holes in their centers. Peculiarly enough, these rocks are apparently mentioned in an ancient song. Okay. So, West Hyrule Plains, circular diddly -dees. And Jeddo Bridge. Because he said south. So I guess maybe that's Jeddo Bridge. But then like somewhere around here are circular rocks, probably. As we get through, I'll just quickly read it again. Yeah. On the south side of West Hyrule Plains, there's that. Near this bridge, there are a number of circular rocks. Rabia Plain. Rabia Plain in the northern part of Hatino. Rabia Plain is northeast of Kakariko. Okay, Hatino, Rabia Plain. I said like northeast. Did he? Rob. 
Rabia Plain. Hmm. Let me read it again just to be sure. <laughs> nice, I've done 100% and I've also speed run it and my best time has been around 30 minutes or so, I think. Nice. I don't think I could ever really dedicate myself to speed running a game unless I really gelled with it. Rabia Plain, northern part of Hatino. Is home to an ancient song about beasts. Rabia Plain is northeast of Kakariko, not Hatino. Okay, that was my bad. He said Hatino. I assumed village. My bad. Okay. Rabia Plain. Kakariko. Blop. Pogos Woods, West Hyrule Plains, Rabia Plain, Gerudo Tower, we did that one. And then Cholera, uh, yeah, Cholera Lake. Apparently there's an ancient song. Farron Region, Cholera Lake, good, good. The Giant Boulder, <laughs> Violent Thunderstorms, I'll need to prepare. Well, it's obviously not that. So, Farron Region, Cholera Lake. Not Cora Lake. Uh, lake Floria, Cholera. A big boulder, apparently. So, read that one again. <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time and a lot of practice. I can only imagine... Rabia Plain, the Gerudo Tower, which we already did, Cholera Lake as an ancient song about the giant boulder in Cholera Lake in the Farron region, thanks to your opponent of violent thunderstorms. I'll need to prepare before I go searching for the song. Horan Lagoon in Lanayru called Horan Lagoon. The winds in Horan Lagoon are supposed to be very intense. Okay. Should be Horan Lagoon. Says Lanayru. Horan Lagoon. Marked. We'll have to look for Cass in all these places so he can give us the songs. From YouTube chat, hello. So how many lost memories have you recovered? All but one, I believe. We just did one that was to the side of Hyrule Castle, where Zelda was like, look at these flowers, aren't they great? The lone, lonely princess isn't able to be domestically grown. Oh, look, a frog. Link, eat this frog for science. So yeah, Horan Lagoon in Lanayru marked you. The ancient song of Katano Bay. Seems there's an ancient song about the oddly shaped stone pillar in the open water of Katano Bay. It details something that was hidden there before the great calamity to be claimed by the lost hero. Katano Bay. So probably down near Hatino. Not sure where it's in there, but it's meant to be a lost hero. It must be worth a fortune. Washa's Bluff. Whispers of an ancient song about the Night of the Red Moon, traditionally sung in Washa's Bluff. I think that would be this one. I'm not sure quite why the book revises and what happens in the span of that night. These are all the ancient songs I've discovered. I will continue my journey. Okay. Katano Bay, I believe, is down here. And Mark. Katano Bay. Alright. So there's two down here. One up here. So, like, all the ones... Like, left or, like, in this area, I think. That's kind of funny. Only the songs exist over here. But I guess... Like... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm trying to think if I should go... Because I've never actually... I've never actually entered into Hyrule Castle before. So that'll be an interesting thing. 
you know what? I'm interested. We're going to travel there, and I'm going to at least look into getting that memory and finishing off all the memories, and then maybe, like, see if we can wander around Hyrule Castle without fighting Calamity Ganon. Like, I can only assume that there's a Link, only come through here if you are absolutely prepared to fight Calamity Ganon. But I've never really, like, ventured through there. I think I wandered a little bit around. Like, then again, who knows? Maybe there's something that actually stops you from... like doing anything in there but I'm interested to try well, I forgot about you you'll never shoot me out of the sky <laughs> what are all the stars on your map near Zora those were to mark the locations of the uh, stone tablets like primarily I think one or two I might have misplaced because I like oh I wonder where the Zora helmet is and I didn't really, like, uh, search all that well for it. And, oh yeah, Blood Moon. I forgot that I skipped you. Oh boy. Luckily, I don't think I'm near anything that'll respawn. And yeah, the main problem is I'm gonna have to sneak by guardians. Either that or lure them in and kill them. <laughs> Bugger off, skellies. How are there even skeletons if, like, they're meant to be like, ah, oh, they all reform? You're not meant to exist. That would actually be a funny mechanic if Stal monsters only, like, start spawning after you kill a certain number of, like, normal enemies. I'm fairly certain that there's a guardian that patrols. I think there are like... Well, I actually don't know. I only ever came this way once. For a moment, I was like, hmm, I wonder if it's a, uh, a stone talus, but probably not. Well, you know what, actually, since we're getting close, I'll put on a guardian sword. So that we get more guardian damage on these guys. Yeah, I've never gone into, like, Castle Town or the Hyrule. Go away, Stal Monsters. Leave me alone. Nobody loves you. You have no family. We have a big thing. There's one. I think there's also another one over there. At least there usually is. skip you. We don't need to see this animation. I do like that it plays each time. But I also like to skip it. Yeah, there's the other one over here. Oh, bugger off. I'm trying to sneak up on a guardian. And then see how many, like, stationary guardians there are. Yeah, come get me. Get smacked. I'll turn you stationary. Leg, leg, stop you. Get smacked. I should probably preserve my guardian gear a little bit. Like, I think I can go and, like, have more made at the Akala Research Center, but still. That also went much better than the first time I killed a guardian. 
we're gonna make a save, just in case, and we're gonna kind of sneak in. Or at least pers- uh, what's the word? Just like, take a look around. Huh, oh, that's actually kind of a... Why, why would the Korok set up a place here? Yeah, because I've... Oh, there's kind of a half-destroyed one that seems like it could activate. But this reminds me, wasn't there a... Like a rumor, like Royal Guard rumor? Treasure chest. Garb of the Winds. King, Dark Armor, Trial of the Sword. I also need to do the Trials. I keep forgetting. Jamas, very close. Twilight, Phantasma. Never did find that guy. I need to look around more. Because I could have sworn that there was a quest that said there was like a kind of back way in to the castle. Which maybe I should have looked into that first. <laughs> They just all blend into the ground. See, so like trying to cross Castle Town normally. It's probably a very dangerous notion. So, what I'll kind of try to do. Jesus, there's a lot of these guys. <laughs> they hit the tree in front of me instead of actually hitting me. That's amusing. Let's see. And I'll just keep the damage. Because I could have sworn that there was like a... Let me check out the quests again. Royal Guard's gear. Not getting close. Royal recipe. Maybe it's not marked here, but I could have sworn that there was like a conversation with like a guy that gave a quest that said there was like a back way into the castle. That was a bit safer. I don't know. Hey, how do you do your little character in the bottom right corner? Ah, uh, let me quickly see. It's a program called uh, Viado Tube, so V E A D O Tube Mini, which basically allows you to like uh, put in different PNGs that are swapped between with like noise. So basically, whenever I talk, it goes from ah no noise to noise threshold crossed. And uh, you can even put, like, gifts in and stuff. And uh, you can set up little, like, uh, shortcuts to change expressions. I mostly did that, uh, like, uh, looked for this because it's simpler than doing an actual VTuber. Because I don't think my, like, uh, webcams are good enough. Oh, that's not good. I have to run away from you. Can you shoot me out of the air? I think that might have actually done it if I didn't drop. Jesus, these things are scary. But yeah, you can set up shortcuts to swap to different expressions, which are basically just uh, draw different... Well, yeah, draw different expressions with different talking and not talking. It's a fun little thing. It's completely free, if I recall. Would be, would be kind of mean if they went, hey, I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna charge people for this. I did look into trying to find a way to do it within OBS itself, but I never really could find one that was, like, really good. Like, just using this is far more, like, sensible than the various different things. 
rocks that I tried before. Oh, hey, treasure chest, what do you have? I should have noted down that conversation with the guy that mentioned like a back way in. Well, I'm here, might as well give me this treasure chest. Not mean to put that much energy into it. Almost crashed those diddly dees. Uh, nice. Can you say the name again? I didn't catch it. It is uh, Viado Tube, but it's V E A D O Tube Mini. Viado Tube. Uh, that might not be at all how it is pronounced. V E A D O Tube Mini. Just a simple little program, programmed in Unity, I believe. It's very nice. I forget how long I've been using it. I've been using it a while, because it's really good. That might very well be the back way in. Well, like I said, I've never gone into this place before. Never gone and gotten the memory before. So, not sure if this will activate anything. <laughs> okay, thanks, really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> like, I know it took me a long time of searching around. Oh, will thing be said? Don't think I've ever seen this before. I made a save, so if I have to load a save, I can. Yeah, that's probably just the, like, Calamity Ganon equivalent of, you've entered the area, here is my boss thing. So yeah, it seems so long as I don't get, like, up to the top, I should be able to do it. Oh, music. Not used to that. But yeah, as I said before... Like, I tried looking around for a long time of how to achieve this effect, so... If it allows somebody else to... Jumpstart it... Huzzah! So I don't think I've ever come through here. Nice. Need music. How oh, dare this thing is blunt? It should destroy you. Yeah, this is cool music. never been in here before, so I don't know, like, exactly where to go or what. I hit myself, darn. The one downside is, uh... Oh, nope, I can leave the area if I want to. Okay, but I'm gonna quickly kind of see about maybe skipping something because I want to get to I wonder if the leave area means yeah it's not just change the map or is it nope this is just the map
gonna try and get to that memory at least. Like, I don't know, maybe... Wander around elsewhere. You see nothing. Take this. I'll hide behind this. You took that. Don't mind me, just coming on through. Yeah, because that's where the memory is. 90% certain. Such good music. People say that Breath of the Wild has no music. Liars they are. Might have to try and shoot that down with a guardian arrow. Yeah, definitely want to like. Yeah, because I can't really hide on that side. Oh, apparently it doesn't really see me. Okay, good. Again, I'm 90% certain this is where the memory is. Such good music. Ah, oh, shit. Rude. What was even aiming at me? Another flyer? So maybe I do want to go around and take out guardians. Right. Okay, first things first, I'll come up here and I guess bash you with this. Stationary guardian. In, smack, smack. Probably the blowback should hit you more. I'll play it safe, since I can. Haha. <laughs> Especially because it seems that your, like, firing times are a little off. to actually, like, get in there, try and find, like, the cookbook and stuff. I don't think I need to really worry about that one. But there was another one that saw me. And again, it might have been that one. No, because it came from over there. Ah, you. Definitely you. Nope. Horribly. Did not. Could not do it. So all I just gotta do is put that on. Get knocked down, idiot. You 
stop that. You stop it. Trying to get in. Get a memory. Remember who I am. And I can't have you be in my way. With the power of Rivali's bow, I will claim what is mine. Oh, and then I can kind of just climb up this way. Much easier than I was doing before. Oh, that's a dangerous weapon. At least it looks like a dangerous weapon. Get thrown, idiot. Your ragdollin' made me miss all my weapon swings of dare. Ow, I did a lot of damage. How dare. Luckily, the second one missed. Oh, because it's an edge of duality. No wonder. Never saw it equipped by an enemy before. Read Zelda's diary? Sure. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came to my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. In the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed. There isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is assigning him as my appointed knight. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to Divine Beast Var Rudania. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me for so long. I grew anxious and weary. It is the same feeling I felt before in his company, and still not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he's thinking and but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Well, I think that, like, this Link, after being, uh, like, sealed away for so long, is a lot more talkative, I believe. Then I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic. He must despise me. Ah, I guess that's part why she was so, like, against Link for so long. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed, and I told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does, and so I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty, and that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I was unsure how to put today's events into words. So often, words so often evade me as of late, and now more than ever. He saved me without a thought for his own life. He protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn, still he was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologize for all that has transpired between us, and then I will try talking to him, to Link. It's worth a shot. Bit by bit I've gotten Link to open up to me. Turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. When I finally got around to ask him why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. With so much at stake, uh, uh, oh, so much at stake, meh. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him, uh, for him, it has caused him to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I too 
will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. I kind of like this because it's kind of establishing a timeline of the memories. Father scolded me again today. He told me I am to have nothing more to do for researching ancient technology. He insisted that I focus instead on training that will help me awaken my sealing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I have been training since I was a child, and yet mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing powers that my, is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow I journey with Link to the Spring of Power to train. But this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, haloed by a blinding light. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I am sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. I turned seventeen today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for the Mount Laneru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have yet to see my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strained now. I will meet with him when I return. Not that the thing's not going to go well. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would ever believe a failure of a princess, but right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. Dark. Again, I really like the music that's playing. game. I'll have to find a proper way to get up there. It is still kind of interesting that they have, like, apparently a decent amount of quests that were like, hey, head into Hyrule Castle and grab some things for people. That you can get like just super early on. Come on, how do I climb this damn thing? Dang it. Okay, Link, don't grab on. Yeah, the music that's playing here is fantastic. It does kind of lead into the wish there was more music overall through the through the game hmm, maybe if I climb the rock face rather than the tower well, I probably could have Ish climbed up from there. We'll head into here. Well, that's actually very sad. Take this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what the hell? Another one saw me? That's double bullshit! Fuck you! But genuinely, I think that's bullshit. It was not winding up at me. Game. That other one just shot out of nowhere. Screw you. That is genuinely bullshit. Fuck you over there. I do hate that it kind of 
like swings around with the movement. Let's see, how many ancient do I have? I'm gonna try and kill this one in one go. When it comes back around. Oh, you didn't even see me. Because I want to kill it. Oh. I do think that you're a bit shenanigans. Dang it. Wasting all my shields on that jackass. deal with you. Wasting all my shields. Now let's get this memory. The final memory. And then probably leave this place. I don't think, like, I can fully explore this place another day. Another day, another day. A guardian, not angry. I wonder how they, like, commanded them. They're supposed to be autonomous. Incredible. We're at a point now where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the guardians and the divine beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. Huzzah! What are you doing out here, Zelda? Ah, super sad memory. For the final memory. I think I know that motif. I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? She isn't. She's I'm depressed. Doing everything I can. I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the goddess. And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. Very rude. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope, my hope is that you... That you allow me to contribute here in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. And command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? You care about the gossip They're mongers? Out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves that you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. I know you're trying to be helpful, but you really aren't. King. Boy, what a... <laughs> What a nice memory to end the collection of memories on. You found location of all 12 pictures. Yep, might as well go report it. Yeah, because I've the main thing with like the other quests of like hey go here and 
find stuff in Hyrule. Is like I don't know where like the cook place would be. Don't know what like important places in this place would be, so. But it is very bothersome that so many guardians exist to ruin my day. Oh, so many guardians just exist to ruin my day. But I guess we shall teleport out, leave this area. We will head to Kakariko Village. And remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Hydration, very important. Ah, that puts me in danger. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's immediately try to teleport away. I wonder if, like, guardians stay dead. Like, in a way, that would be kind of good. Like, I could see, like, the... Like, I don't know. You could make arguments for both stationary and moving guardians staying dead over the other. Yeah, guardians take a lot of effort to kill. Well, I got my memories back. All that's left, I suppose, is to try and... ...head out to the various locations to try and find Cass... ...and the shrine quests. And then, I guess, maybe head to Gerudo Desert to try and begin that quest. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Ah. So the sword has been returned to its rightful owner. <laughs> Just as I expected of you, hero. The sword that seals the darkness is your counterpart. So long as that blade is at your side, you should wield enormous power. The princess risked everything for you in that sword. Do not forget that, and do not waste this chance. Ah, uh, that's right. Mm. It seems you're doing well in following the princess's words. The spirits of some of the, the divine beasts haven't been appeased, and the powers of evil have weakened. The princess must sense this as well. Still, the divine beast Varnaboris remains. That one was controlled by Orbosa of the Gerudo. Divine beast Varudanya also remains. That one was controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. Yep, I know. I came for other quest reasons. Yeah. You are Princess Zelda's only hope in High Rules as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. By the way, how are you faring thus far? Got all my memories back. Well, I guess all those from the slate. No, all twelve pictures already? You visited every place? Oh, then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. You know where my final memory is? That's not a picture? Here is what happened. Oh, you're actually moving. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. Yeah. This is the final picture. Oh, it was right on the wall. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in a half day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. If I remember, like, I have a vague idea of where that could be. Because I think, like, that should just be, like, over here, right? Like, uh, right? Because it's kind of a field filled with destroyed Bobbidabas. 
Like, another thing I should try and do is, uh... The, uh, ba ba ba. The sword trial for the Koroks. And I guess I'll head down to where I think it is. Because I do believe that it should just be that, like, opening field to the Hatino village. Or, like, that gate. Where that guy said, like, if it weren't for that gate and, like, people defending it, then even Hatino village would have been overrun by the guardians. And that's why there's so many guardian, like, remains there. Just to make sure it wasn't a Korok. Whenever I see a lone stone, I just think, Is it you? Are you a Korok? Oh, fuck it off. It's only 950. And you ruined my mining attempts, and I don't know where that ore went. I don't even think I killed that many Bacoblins since the Blood Moon rose. So what are your excuse? Maybe Bacoblins that got resurrected, like, in locations that they instantly died? That's possible, I guess. Yeah, this field, I think, should be it? Maybe? Because I think it should have a bunch of, like, guardian corpses. And that picture is meant to be, like, a big grassy field with destroyed guardians. I hate you, Stals. Why are you spawning so much? Darn it, I'm gonna roll down the hill and die. Yeah. But yeah, like, uh, maybe not as many guardian corpses as I thought. Or maybe they need to spawn in. I probably should have taken a picture of it, didn't I? No, this should be it. Now, finding the exact location will be a bit difficult because I don't have the picture with me. Again, I see a lone stone I think must pick up. Just in case. I hate the Stals. Go away. They're so annoying. I'm just trying to find an elusive spot. Yep. Go away. I'm trying to find a memory in a guardian graveyard. God, there's far too many enemies right now. Go away. Bomb. Luckily, this is a low-level area, so I shouldn't have too much to worry about, but still! Just trying to think of, like, where that placement was. Because I just went, oh, yeah, I have a vague idea of where that is. Oh, darn you. Yeah, don't want to waste that on you. Cease. I'm looking for memories here. Yeah, yeah. 
four tat clean, oh. Trying to think of like where that memory would be. I should have taken a picture. Because it's among all the graves. But like the exact angle, I don't know. I'll destroy you all. Smack. Bomb. Oh, a higher level one seems to have spawned, too. That's a little rude. Darn, how dare your building stop my destruction. And I'll just beat this one up normally. Eh. I have a memory to search for, you jerk. Cease your existence. Could be over here there's more dead guardians, and it was kind of in a more, like... It could be over here. Again, just a little rude that they didn't, like, activate it on my Sheikah Slate that I could constantly look to it. Because I vaguely know where it is. But I don't exactly know, and the memory thing doesn't exactly shine nearby. Like, it's only once you're, like, super-duper close does it actually activate. There we go. Random wandering wins the day. This is apparently the final memory. No, we don't even have a Sheikah Slate to activate here. Or like, look, look at. <laughs> ah, war and death. Look, save yourself. Go. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I don't you. believe you, really. <laughs> Not this point. Like, how could Link in this state continue to fight on? <laughs> Impressive. See, I had to stay here and not run, else you wouldn't have sacrificed, gotten your... Power. What was that? Congratulations, you finally got your power. Huh? Link's just dead. No, no. Link, get up. <coughs> You're gonna be just fine. Now it is <laughs> time for you to cry over my body, rather than just into my arms. Hm. 
<laughs> the sword is in need of charging. The sword? So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Ninjas! Princess, are you all right? Took you long enough. Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. And they just knew, like, where the Shrine of Resurrection was this entire time. Link. Yes, a <laughs> voice in my head, you Zelda. You recovered all of your memories of us from 100 years ago. Well, some memories. I am here, inside Hyrule Castle. It is now time for you to defeat Ganon. Well, I still have, like, uh, two uh, divine beasts to get to. Divine Beasts and lots of other things. I guess we'll come down here because I believe these are all the marks of the like uh, remaining Dobbity Daws cast quests. So we'll come down here to the stable and then like try to make our way hmm because he just mentioned Pagos Woods specifically so we'll head there and try and find it try to find what goes there Here we are. First, we'll see if he is down here. If not, we'll head into Pagos Woods. Mm, does not seem to be. Then to Pagos Woods we go. I think this is where we got my horse castle. But I haven't ridden in, like, forever. Fool what I am. But we'll head in there. And see if we can find Cass playing his song. And pray that w it'll be a quick and easy shrine quest. From YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We got all our memories back just a second ago. And now we are on the quest to try and find Cass in Pagos Woods. So we need to listen for his accordion. The goal is to try and find Cass. I hear you. Da, 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 da. Like it. Okay, I don't think this is getting closer. So where are you? Like I hear him, but I don't see him. 
And it's very clear. Oh, I was about to say, I was literally on top of you. Oh, A visitor? So deep in the forest? Oh. oh, we meet again. I trust you're keeping well. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? I will try my best to at oh. least make it sound musical. Excellent. Without further ado. Where the forest dragon splays its jaws. A shrine sleeps with noble cause. Where the forest dragon splays its jaws, a shrine sleeps mm. within its cause. <laughs> the forest dragon. I've never seen a dragon in a forest around these parts. Though I suppose the forest from the song could be the Demel Forest north of here. There's definitely a secret lying in wait. It's just a matter of tracking it down. May the light illuminate your path. Thank you, Cass. Demel Forest, you say. Ah, uh, just so... I'm going to assume... Huh, the forest dragon. So probably... Up here. Is where it is. Well, off we go. Ba da 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 I have no cause to want to fight enemies. I just want to get through. The sudden change. The the lighting immediately changed. Ah hell. I honestly no idea what the opposite of light. Uh. Okay, uh, you come in here, get any metal off me. You're actually safe, that's good. And I guess I'll put this on. And I guess I'll try to go around that guy. I don't want to bother fighting him. It's already lightning and thundering in here. I don't need more. Jesus. Why is it all the lightning in here? Did this place piss off a god or something? though. Bastard. I think he's... Uh, I was gonna say. I think he drowned. God, if only he did. <laughs> I'm going to assume the song refers to, like, up here in Drakozu Lake. And, like, up here will be where it is, because I don't see, like, anything else that could kind of be what the song's referring to. I just have to hope that the rain doesn't make it 
more difficult for me to try and solve this shrine quest. In a way, I wonder, like, the civilization that, like, carved these, like, stone statues, I wonder if they're, like, exist in any fashion. Well, that's very rude. Considering the amount of enemies here, I'm going to assume that this is indeed the place. Well, fuck you, what hit me? There were no enemies around, how dare. The one right over there? Nah, he doesn't exist. Stop it right there. Die already. All of you. Okay, that was fair. Missed. Idiot. Well, I guess, you know what? I'll humiliate you. I'll beat you to death with the stick. I'll make you drop that. It's like it knows that trying to hit me with its weapon is meaningless. It's using its tongue more than anything. Darn it. Get out of the water. Out of the water. I take your spear, for you are hideous. Get out of the water. That was my bad aim. Die already. And just because that one guy is big and scary in there, we shall try and go sneak mode. Because I think he... Or is he just sitting down? Well, we can at least stab this guy in the back. Never mind, you knew I was there the entire time. How dare you. So yeah, I don't think we'll be able to sneak up on those guys. I just want to get into the dragon jaws. Get smacked in the face. Yeah, he just seems to be sitting there rather than actually sleeping. This is another shrine of diddly D. Is this shrine of power, I guess? You have done well to find this spring. 
off a ferocious scale received from the golden spirit to the spring of courage. Oh, this is the, uh, the courage one, not power. Then I might as well go ahead and do it. Let's see. Ferocious scale. Then we'll go in, activate, and see if we can head back and talk to Cass. And tell him that we found it. Because if we go in there, he'll despawn. That's just what he does. That's how he rolls. Which also means that this will probably be another, like, uh, big test of power. And I don't really feel like doing that right now. But considering that this is the Shrine of Courage, does this mean that, like, this Link would be more akin to a dragon than a wolf? <laughs> like, each of the Links kind of have their own, like, designated animal. I think Link to the Past Link is more of a uh, rabbit due to, like, the, the shadow world. Yeah, just, like, literally over here. We'll set that. Then there's Twilight Princess Link, who is definitely a wolf. Then there's, like... Buh, buh, buh. I'm trying to think there was another one. I guess you could say that the Skyward Sword Link is more of a bird. Up we go. Just climb away. And then we, if we ever want to go back, we can just teleport without a worry in the world. I think there was a kookaburra. Or, like, whatever that bird is that they sped up to make the dolphin sound for Spongebob. I think that's how it was. The Zonai Ruins. So I guess the civilization that carved all that was the Zonai. Or maybe this is just... The, the what is what this place is called the zone eye. Nope, seemed like he has moved on, so we can't tell him that we did it. But we did it. Then we can move along to Cholera Lake. We'll just teleport to get closer and then we'll head there. And then he'll probably tell us another song. Ba -ba. Of course it's raining here. Make my job all that much harder, huh? Especially because it's pretty far away. Hmm. Especially because it's across everything. In a way, starting from the Tawa Jin might be a bit easier. So you know what? We're going to start at the Tawa Jin Shrine instead. Because I think that'll start us, like, on a higher elevation. Along with being able to then, like, approach it from a not-watery area. Which will definitely be helpful. It's even raining over here. It's always raining. Double check. Because what did I put that blue one on? I think I put that to be like, oh, I saw a shrine when I was over there. And just never changed it. I wonder if the shrine... West Pinox respawned. 
I don't really care to find out. Bagger off. I'm here for one reason. Big Bird Dilf. Get out of here. I saw you coming a mile away. I long to find the bird. Because if we do this one, that will be like, um, because we've done Gerudo, the Gerudo Tower, we've done the Blood Moon, now we've done Pogos Forest. So yeah, he should be somewhere around here. We'll have to listen for music. Might be closer this way. There you are, Birdman! Da 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 Get out. I'm here to have a conversation with the Dilf. Very impressive. Not many could make it up here in such rain. Oh, I'd expect no less from a well-worn traveler like yourself. Me, I stay nice and dry. My feathers repel the rain rather well, and my instrument was designed to withstand extreme moisture. <laughs> when your livelihood revolves around ancient songs, you've got to be prepared for a few raindrops. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. When a lost hero calls down lightning from the sky, The monk responds from a giant mound on high. Mm. There's a puzzle in this somewhere, but as far as I can tell, it could apply to a great many things. Anyway, may the light ever shine on your path. That song of storms. When the lost hero calls down lightning from sky, I'm going to assume play some metallic thing up there and it'll blast. From YouTube chat, hey, hello, hello. We are doing cast quests. Because I've never done all of his, the quests surrounding cast before. So I wanna. We also got all the memories from before. All right, now what's a thing I'm willing to sacrifice? Oh, dang it. Like, unless that's not what they want me to do, and there's a specific thing, which it's entirely possible. It's just that it feels like place a thing that, since especially it's already raining here, and he says, oh, you got here in such rain. But it doesn't seem to be summoning the result that I wanted. Then again, it doesn't seem like it's, like, active-active. So let's actually go up there again. And, like, uh, maybe equip the thing. Yeah, because maybe I have to taunt the gods and also it's gone. Eh, darn. Let's see, what am I, what am I willing to, I guess you. Aha! But then I'll just stay here, so it doesn't despawn. Aha! And the Frostblade, though, exists! 
Impressive. And I'm gonna immediately unequip that. Uh, I guess I'll go talk to him first, and then we'll activate you. Did you see that? Mm. Ah, so there was a shrine inside that crag split by lightning. The bolt was so ferocious that I worried I might be struck down myself. <laughs> I'd say that's worthy of being immortalized in song. Anyway, may the light shine ever on your path. Are you sure you're not like an ancient... Like Rito monk persisting on to like tell me of where all these shrines are. And that's another shrine down. Guess I'll go ahead and delete these stamps since he'll be gone from here. Then next up, I guess technically is Katano Bay. Katano Bay, Rabia Plain, Horon Lagoon, and oh yeah, also the one up here. The West Hyrule Plains. I forget exactly. Because I think he said South like, there's a bridge. I assume this is the bridge. There are those, like, statues with holes in them. We're not here to do shrines. We're here to do cast quests. First and foremost. And then we can always come back and do the shrines at a later date. Well, I guess I'll put it here. This will make our way. I probably could have also gone back and reread the specifics. But it should be in the West Hyrule Plain. Like, kind of down south ne from a bridge, you're able to see like a various. Stones with holes in them, like statues, and there's an ancient song pertaining to them. What was that noise? Oh. I guess we awoke a skelly, and then unawoke a skelly. Come on, game, I want to stand on top of these rocks so I can place that. How did the Korok even, like, plan that? Did you steal these seeds? Like a long, long time ago? So I'm going to assume that... But is it? It said it specifically mentioned, like, Jeddo. Oh, but this seems to be it. Anyway, now we just have to get close and hear that accordion. Oh, bugger off, stole. You're ugly and you're hideous and nobody loves you, kaboom. Ah, there he is. I see him in the distance. I wonder what the song will be about here. With all of these stones with holes in them. 
They don't seem to be like the ones from Warbler's Nest. From YouTube chat. Hello there, Neon. How's the stream going? Very good. We got all our memories back and we've been having a decent time of finding casts and doing all these quests. Wow, he has nothing even to say for this one. Aww. Oh. I did not hear your approach, which is impressive because I uh, approached you from the front. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see, and this was the last song he taught me. Mm. Excuse me. I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Please. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. When a single arrow threads two rings. The shrine will rise like birds on wings. All right, so we just need to find two that line up and throw a, a diddly dee through them. Uh. There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure. And I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. I don't know, this one's actually pretty straightforward, all things considered. And darn, I have uh, very low on arrows. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. ba da ba da ba da da ba da So it's just an arrow has to go through two of these, probably the right two. I don't think so. Bugger off, peace. Okay, that should have hit one of you. You magical demons. We just need to find two that are somewhat aligned. Presumably. Hmm. No. We have to find two that are aligned enough. To have like a position that you can shoot from one to another. And I don't have that many arrows to spare for this. Got a little bit happy with the arrows by blasting uh, guardians with them. Ba 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 da da ba da. As I think so, let's quickly diddly da. When a single arrow threads two rings, the shrine will show up. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, all things considered. There's way too many enemies. Just bothering me on my simple little going about and doing stuff. Yeah, I can't really do that there. Can't do that one. A single... I wonder. A part of me wonders. Just out of amusement. I can't drop a single arrow. It'd be funny if I could, like, drop a single arrow, magnesis it, and thread it through all of them. I think that would be funny. Single arrow threads two rings. And you can't, like, fire too close to some of them. I might have to teleport around to different shrines, or not shrines, but stables. I'm just trying to think. Oh, there's a hidden one. 
what kind of healed one. I don't think I've seen you before. I think these might be aligned enough to shoot through. No, I don't think so. There we go. That one in the corner. And a swallow bow. Booyah! I did it. And of course, we'll go talk to him to get his little commentary. Come back, activate that, and teleport on to the next area. Hey, Cass, did you see? Did you see? I did it. There are far too many enemies bothering me today. You don't even give me anything. Just chew jelly, which I don't think does anything. Like, maybe it's good for blue dye? Maybe I could have set you on fire to get fire chew jelly. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Just impressive sight, that. I did it! Oh. That was stupendous. I suppose I should have expected nothing less. No doubt I shall see you again. May the light illuminate your path. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay, we'll go activate the shrine. And then go teleport elsewhere. <laughs> Maybe Katano Bay, Rabia Plains. I think there should be only, what, three cast quests left? I believe so. Go ahead and activate so that it's just a good teleport spot. We go ahead and take that back. Take that back. Because, yeah, we have... Oh, I guess I can also... Nope, on. Take that back as well. Yeah, Katano Bay, Rabia Plains, and Horon Lagoon should be the last remaining ones. So off to Katano Bay we go. The main reason I'm not going into all of them is because, like, so far it seems like so many of the, hey, here's a shrine quest, and then we expect you to do more once you get inside the shrine, you fool. And plus, we can always just come back and do the shrines later. Right now, this is cast quest time. And of course it's raining, because why wouldn't it be raining? Hmm, the main thing is, I guess, like, he might be down here? But God, it's just like it rains so much in this game. Which annoys me. Just too much rain. Just far too much. It makes it so hard to just go about and do things. I just need, really need to hope that there's no big, like, uh, arrow expenditure to summon any more shrines. Because, uh, he just mentioned Katano Bay in this song, so I'm going to assume he's probably along here somewhere. Another reason I hate the rain, it takes away all of the visual clarity. It allows me to see nothing, and I hate it. Rain is just there to ruin my day. Oh, there he is, out in the middle of there. Oh, bugger off! Every single time I turn to be like, I'm gonna go head out there. Enemies are like, we shall introduce ourselves. The best way to travel the seas. 
I would make a joke about that one, uh, what's his name? Admiral guy from, uh, One Piece who makes a uh, ice bridge wherever he goes to <laughs> drive his bicycle around, but I completely forget his name. And of course it's also raining, so getting up to him is gonna be additionally hard. I think getting an ice cube right next to it and climbing will be the way to go. Don you? I hate the rain as much as it hates me. Do I have any stamina? I do have a few stamina sticks. Screw you, game. I cheats you. Ah, oh, the smell of the sea. Why, hello. I certainly didn't expect to see anyone else up here. How fortunate to cross paths with you again. Did you come to see the sea? Technically, I came to see you. This oddly shaped rock pillar we're standing on is the subject of a song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Oh. As you wish. <clears throat> An ancient hero spoke these words. One day I'll return to fight evil. My cash is at 17 of 24. This rock will point towards its retrieval. 17 of 24. Uh. My cash? Could it be a hidden stash of money? If it was left by the ancient hero that defeated the calamity 10,000 years ago, it must be a big amount. Good luck figuring it out. 17 of 20. Seventeen of twenty. So this one might be a bit more difficult. Yeah, my cash is at seventeen of twenty-four. Well, if we consider this like a clock, and that's twenty-four, and that's twelve, I guess like this rock? I would assume. Like one of these rocks. Hmm. Oh, maybe Magnesis. A 17 of 24. So it might not actually be you. Oh. 300 rupees. Nope, that is what it is. <laughs> I'll head over and talk to him. It was 300 rupees. Inflation must have hit this <laughs> land hard. <laughs> da 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 and here I thought it would be a shrine quest. That's kind of fun. I kind of like that they're not all shrine quests. Aww. What? So the hero's savings amount to nothing more than a single gold rupee? Mm. Hmm. Well, hero though he was, he was much more rich in character than wealth. Still, that is a fair sum. I hope you'll make good use of it. He didn't even t hope that light would like light my way. Sadness. All right, next is Rabia Plain and Horan Lagoon, which I guess we'll start from this shrine and move on. This should be the final two that we have to do. Then again, I guess when there's a shrine right in view of where they placed them, I guess they're like, we don't need to put another shrine in this area. Ah, 
but I kind of forget exactly what the Rabia Plains one had to say. Yeah, I don't. I'm not even gonna bother trying to smack you for rubies. And if we can finish this up, I think that'll be a very productive stream. Because if we finish this, then that will mean that we've done the cast quests and the, uh, like, all the memories. Then next time we can come on in and try to have, uh, try to do the Korok challenges, maybe. And if not the Korok challenges, we can at least continue on and try to do the, like, Gerudo Desert mainline quest and side quests. Then, of course, there's, like, uh, having to find a Goron that ends with the, whose name ends with Sun for the Bolson Company quest. And there's also trying to find, like, uh, a couple in love that I can send to the Zora, like a, like, former priest. Okay, we just gotta head into Rabia Plains. I completely forget exactly, like, what... He said about this place. But we just have to listen around for the accordion. Oh, well, never mind. He's right there. And there seems to be a platform. So this one will be very up front, probably. Da, 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 da. Guess we can go ahead and take that back. Da 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 But man, you must fly really fast to be able to beat teleportation. Crown of bone. Crown of bone. Don't know if I'll get that one either. Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone else was around. Oh, I knew we'd meet again. Though I never imagined it would be here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone Prancing through the lush green Antler, got you now. Mount the beast upon its throne For only then the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? Mm. That's certainly a secret hiding here, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. Well, of course, we'll have to go stealth mode. And find an antler, beastie boy. I wonder if I could stasis them. Because at first I was wondering, it's like, what could the crown of bone mean? But then, like, prancing crown of bone, it's obviously a... deer. Specifically an antlered deer. problem is he probably is gonna run away and despawn rather than yeah just stop so actually sneaking up on one's gonna be a little hard because they have to be like specifically looking away from me more often than not because even if I sneak up on them if they see me coming
Gotcha. Calm down. I might not be able to actually take you. <laughs> it would be super cool if you could, like, have a, an antler beast rather than a horse. I know I said antler beast instead of freaking deer, but brain is broken. And I don't know if, like, a normal, like, uh, a fawn or a doe, whatever they're called, would have worked instead of this, but crown of bones. I wonder how the ancient Sheikah managed to be able... Well, I guess the Sheikah slate can, like, take pictures and be like, Ah, that's a deer. So I guess it makes sense that their little platforms can go, This is a deer. Activate the shrine rising. Uh. I get it now. The crown of bone refers to antlers. Of course, that's a mountain buck. Those majestic creatures are a bit like the kings of the forest, aren't they? <laughs> Your exploits here could be their own heroic song, you know. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. We'll go activate this, and then head off to the final, pre well, presumably final, cast song quest. I do like these little quests. They make getting these shrines a bit different than the others. Well, the last one he said was in Horan Lagoon. So off we go. And presumably this should be the last one. Because we did the dragon song of Pogo's Forest. We did the Blood Moon song. We did the uh, Hitano Bay. This one plain. The Western Hyrule Plain. The Gerudo Tower. We've done quite a few. Probably should have just teleported to that shrine to begin the way. But I thought it was close enough. Just ignore all the enemies, move around. Maybe eventually say, oh god, why didn't I start in the Zora's domain to get here? Because it probably would have been smarter to start in Zora's domain, climb up the mountains and then go down rather than go the way I'm going. And of course it's going to rain again, because there is no god. If I wanted, there's probably enough, like, cliff faces here to, like, start a fire under an overhang and wait out the rain. I made the joke before, but it still stands apt. I don't think that, like, Zora's Domain is safe from flooding. I think they're still in danger. Again, I swear that's the Koroks throwing all the rocks at me. Trixie little... Hobbitses. Yeah, Horon Lagoon up here past Brynja Plain. And we will see. We'll just have to keep an ear out for accordion. Where I wonder if technically he will, like, won't spawn because we didn't, like, go through a loading screen. Like, doubtful. We probably just leave a certain area 
despawns him. We enter this area, spawns him in. That's probably how it works. A bit less complicated than... Like, has the player loaded yet? And plus would also be a bit annoying. Because... If the player can't just immediately do the cast quest, maybe they'll miss him. And they'll never even know there was supposed to be a cast quest here. And there you are, my boy. Presumably, for the final time, we meet you in the wild. We're gonna send you home. Presumably, uh, to your poor wife that has, like, five kids. Tempestuous wind. Oh, I was sure that I would be alone in such a remote place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. Oh. oh, it's you! Although I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind Above the tempestuous bay On the wings of cloth and wooden twine he lands on the altar to open the way. The tempestuous bay from the song could be this very bay, but what sort of wings are made of cloth and wood? Uh. It's a juicy riddle, but one I may never puzzle at. <coughs> Excuse me. Blair. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind above the tempestuous bay. So, like, I presume that there's... Like, rocks to blow up in here that give a big... Like, boost? Because it, like, showed this way. Like, I would presume... Breaks the rocks that serve to bind. In a tempestuous bay. I see you, Korok thingy. I don't see any blow-upable things, so maybe I just need to land? No, I can't make it. Ah, I see. Now that'll cause like a super current. And of course, it's damn raining again. I just got here, game. Screw off. Again, people complain about like the weapon degradation. Oh, screw you. I have things to do. Ah, I see you. What? Oh, cause that fucking rain! God damn it, I hate the rain. The rain is so fucking stupid, I hate it. It's so fucking stupid, I hate it. From the Twitch chat, Rain of the Wild. Howdy, how are we doing today? Aside from the rain, doing pretty good. We got all our memories in a row. And we're just about to finish the final cast quest. If it weren't for the god damn rain. It's so stupid. Why in the world does it rain so goddamn much in this fucking game? It pisses me off. 
especially because it's raining, and I need a bomb arrow to blow up that goddamn rock. What pisses me off. Game, fuck off right now. Fuck off. I hate the rain. It's so badly designed. It just annoys. It serves no practical purpose. Like, at least the rain at, like, the start of, like, the Zora's Domain, that makes sense, but this is just so fucking stupid. Random rain that always seems to show up right when you fucking want to do shit. It's so dumb. So ungodly dumb. God, I hate the rain. Again, Zoro's domain will continue to fucking... Goddamn... Drown. But I do believe I've gotten rid of all the rocks and shall be able to land at the proper point. In despite of the fucking rain. Damnable rain. Damnable rain of hell. Oh, because I let go of the goddamn thing. Very well. Wouldn't be that bad if it weren't for the fucking rain. I think I should be able to just do this. No game, I didn't want to dive, you piece of shit. Oh, you want to dive into the water? It is rain! Nope, not enough. I hate the dive mechanic now, too. It serves no purpose other than to annoy me. Well, we should be able to get there back easily. Somewhat. Yeah, because I have to get, like... And of course, again, it's raining. I need to get as much height as possible so I can actually do this goddamn game. Fuck off. I want to do things. But God, why is it raining so much? I think the rain may have stopped right now, even though the rain thing still says it's raining. But screw you. I will take it not rain right now. And now we land on it with wooden cloth. <laughs> Better swimming than climbing, thanks to the rain. Probably. But there we go. This should be the final cast quest shrine that I am aware of. I wonder if he'll even say I finally, like, found all the songs of the land and can go home. Mm. Ah, so the wings of cloth and wood referred to a paraglider. Of course. The way you soared on the wings made it look as though you truly had wings. <laughs> I feel the stirrings of a new song about your deeds here. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. Because I do believe that that is, like, the final cast quest, as far as I am aware, I believe. I think so. Then I guess... We'll try and 
We'll go here, see if he's here, and if not, hope that he's home. Because uh, I don't know what else for properly, properly. Because we'll see if he's at the stable. It is a little bit weird that he's just like, like at the stable right in front of the Rito village. He's like, I can't return home until I have done this thing for my uh, deceased master. If you want to hear the song, why don't you like uh, find all the diddly dees? So we'll make our way over to the stable where he should be. And if he's not there, presume that he's within the village. We will make our way to the stable and hope that he is there. Because I'm 90% certain that I've done all of ca the cast quests. There was the Blood Moon, the Circle Stones... The Hitano Bay, Rabia Plain. Like, lots of enemies. Lots of enemies just getting in my way. Bugger off. Why do the game throw so much enemies at me right now? It's annoying. I just want to get to the stable. And yet I'm causing environmental disasters along the way. Because he always spawns here. But not this time. Which means he may very well be inside. Or maybe he went inside because it's late and he's asleep. That could also be a potential. But it doesn't look like it. So it's entirely possible that he's in Rito Village right now. Banging his hot wife. Then up we will go to see if he's there. And if he's not, we will despair. I'm 90% certain that I've done all his quests. Even here, be gone. Try and get your skull back from that, skelly. You can stop playing the enemy combat music. He's gone. He can no longer hurt me. Nice to know that I can always get a hammer here. I'll need to remember that. Anything new happening, my dude? Oh, it's you. Let me guess. Huh. Can't talk now. So we already had that conversation. Because I assume I've done all his quests. And that he should be here with Han the Village. But it is late, so. Could be wrong as well. But he wasn't at the stable where he was before. So we might just have to wait. A bit, maybe? Oh, there you are, my dude. I passed it by completely. I'm a fool. Aww. Playing the accordion version of the Rito Village song. 
Hey there, Cass. Ooh. Ah, we meet again. I'm taking a moment's rest from my tireless search for the ancient songs to perform in my hometown. Mm. By the way, I have something I must ask of you. I have a song that I need you to hear. I wish to speak with you, so this will take some time. Is that all right? That's fine. Oh. Thank you ever so much. I wanted to talk to you about my teacher. My teacher was of the Sheikah tribe. He was the court poet for the Hyrulean royal family. At the time, there was a beautiful princess in the royal family, quite close to my teacher in age, apparently. Uh. Though he must have known it was doomed to be unrequited, my teacher fell in love with her. But the princess herself only had eyes for her escort, her own knight attendant, who also only had eyes for the Zora princess. It was just like a line. <laughs> From Twitch chat, even though I got all the shrines, I never completed all of Cass's quests. Hmm. I, I like Cass so much I wanted to do all of them specifically for him. <sighs> My teacher was consumed with jealousy. He fumed that the knight was neither nobility nor royalty himself. And then the calamity struck. My teacher believed a hero would appear to beat back the calamity. He poured that belief into a song. And that song is what I need you to hear. An ancient hero, a calamity appears, now resurrected after 10,000 years. Her appointed knight gives his life just a figure and pays the price. The princess's love for a fallen knight awakens her power. And within the castle, the calamity is forced to cower. But the knight survives. In the shrine of resurrection, he sleeps until from his healing he leaps. For fierce and deadly trials awake to regain his strength, fulfill his fate. To become a hero once again, to rest the princess from evil's den. The hero, the princess, hand in hand, must bring the light back to this land. It's hard to keep proper <laughs> sp lyrical speed with it all. My teacher fled the calamity and returned to his hometown of Kakariko village. But on his way, he witnessed the princess's knight sacrifice himself to protect the princess. The elder of Kakariko village, Impa, explained the circumstances to him, and his mind was made up. He would seek the songs of the hero who sealed the calamity away in an age past, so they could be passed on to the knight once he returned. Also that the princess might be saved. Those were my teacher's last words, passed on now through me. So, appointed knight, will you accept this song from my departed master? Yes. Ooh. Thank you so much. I knew you would. I was sure of it. My teacher would often speak of the princess's beauty. I would love to meet her and craft a song worthy of her. Thank you for spending this time with me. And thank you for being a cool dude, Cass. <gasps> Thank you for accepting my teacher's song. Some other time, of course. Please let me know if you want to hear it again. I can do not but sing, but I pray for your safety. That's neat. I wonder if, like I highly doubt it. I think it would have been cool if uh, the Sheikah royal poet was in Age of Calamity, but I don't think that he is. I think that would have been a neat thing. But we did a lot there. We got our memories back. We did all of Cass's quests. Hi. Morning. Don't tell me you came all the way just to hear an ancient Rito song. <laughs> okay. Nothing makes me want to do not do something more than being asked to do it on the spot, but sure, why not? <laughs> do it again. <laughs> all the Rito know how to sing.
You know, like, with so much wind in this place, I don't think stacking your plates would be a smart idea. I wonder if any dialogue for anybody changes now that Cass is in the village. Probably not, but I think that'd be cool. I think that that shall be it for now. We got two big milestones. We got all our memories. We got all the cast quests. Which is just neat. Very neat. Just so nice. Next time, we'll probably go and do Vanaboris, or at least begin the quests around Gerudo Village. I just wonder what else there will be. Well, it just feels like we've done a lot. It almost feels like we're kind of nearing the end of the game, because there are only a few other quests really to do that I really care about, depending on, like, uh... Like, uh, buh buh, buh. Trying to think. If anything else comes up while we do, like, Gerudo Village or Goron City. But, if nothing else catches my eye, we may very well be entering the end of Breath of the Wild. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I, I wonder if these are his kids coming to greet him. Just marching along. Then again, we did the... Nope. They're just here for... Well, that's kind of cute. Either way. Them singing along with the accordion for the full song. Although it seems the accordion kind of drowns them out. That's kind of funny. But... Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me... I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, although this Monday things might come up, so we'll see if I can stream or not. We'll have to see. But if you want more things from me, my link tree has links to everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash neonicywings with direct links in the various bios, descriptions, and link places of the sites. And it holds such links like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch and streaming YouTube, depending on your preference, with all these streams being uploaded to the YouTube channel after the fact for quality purposes. And then if you want other things from me in my link tree, uh, there's places I upload art similar to my little character in the corner and in Slate and various arts that I do. And then some sites that I upload some writing that I do, because writing is fun. And finally, my Patreon, which is basically a big old donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind, stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>